Welcome back to another episode of Tiny Camper Diaries. Um, I am sitting at the top of Clingman's Dome, uh, and, and we'll go through the whole story of how I got here. I don't know if you can hear it. The wind is absolutely howling, which it's always blowing on Clingman's Dome. Um, but I've got a tiny camper, and I'm like, I came up for a sunset, I want to see about a sunrise, so I'm like, why don't I just stay? No big deal. So I'm in the parking lot, um, just still attached to the truck. I've slept pretty well, um, but but the wind, I mean, it is howling, and and the the fog or the clouds, probably I guess up here it's clouds, has have really moved in. Um, it is about I don't know 4:30 or so. Um, in the morning, right, and at, maybe I maybe I'll get a sunrise. I don't know. I don't know. But look, the the fall colors are really really incredible. I can't wait to show you uh, the first picture uh, I took of the fall colors. It's the first of of I hope you know several really great images. I've got a great sunset. I'll show that to you in a bit. But let's talk about the last week. The last week has been in South Carolina. Um, I, I was I was at Santee Cooper working uh, the Bassmaster Elite Series uh, tournament uh, there, and uh, and it all, but it all started by driving from Gunnersville, uh, Alabama, from Scottsboro, Alabama, um, over to uh, Manning, South Carolina, and I met up with my buddies uh, James Overstreet and uh, and Steve Wright, and Stevie and I decided to go to uh, Congaree National Park. And, and and I didn't know much about it. I'd heard about Congaree Swamp, but I, I didn't even realize, honestly, there was a national park there. And and as y'all know, or at least the you know my long-term followers know, I have a goal of visiting all the national parks in the continental U.S. before I die. Uh, and I better get going because I'm 52. This will be number nine. Um, so so we we headed off early in the morning. I have to tell y'all. It was really spectacular. Um, it, it reminds me a lot of the the swamps at home, but it, but it's it's different in some ways. Lots of big big trees. Uh, uh, it it is a, a swamp that that gets flooded, and then you know the waters recede, and so it's a really healthy swamp. It's just beautiful. This is one of the first images I took in the morning. I really haven't worked up a lot of them because it's been such a busy week. But uh, but I love this image uh, with that reflection, those those leaves on the uh, on on the water, uh, the color of those those trees. Uh, you know, it's way down in the low country, so uh, fall hasn't really hit there. Uh, the mosquitoes were awful. I mean, they were they were they were as bad as they ever dream of being in Louisiana, and so really, I felt sort of at home. Uh, it, it, it was just a lot of fun. Uh, we, we tromped around. We walked about seven, seven and a half miles that day um, and really had a good time just banging around looking at, at Congaree National Park. It's a, it's a place I want to go back to. I want to take, uh, take my wife, uh, Yvette, as some of y'all know her, MTA, my trusty assistant, uh, and, and show her you know and and so uh so it was it was really fun but then the the tournament started and man it was a tough tournament uh, uh there there were a lot of big bags weighed in but uh but the fishing was really tough you know you you people don't realize sometimes just how tough the fishing is when they see those those guys holding up those big bags and and uh and I was, you know, it, it was it, it was really cool to see uh, Brandon Polinick win. Brandon is is a buddy from way back. Uh, I wrote the first story and took the first photos of, of Brandon that appeared in. Listen to that wind. Uh, <laughs> that appeared in Bassmaster uh, back when he was man. I, I guess he was in his his early twenties. I guess I, I I don't know. He, he he looked like a kid, but he looks like a kid now. He doesn't look like he's aged much. But he, he won his fifth, fifth uh, blue trophy, his fifth uh, Bassmaster Elite Series trophy uh, on a, a fishery that was really tough. I didn't get to cover him th uh, this week, and, and uh, you know, I don't always get to, to pick who I, I cover. But, uh, but I did cover my buddy, um, 
Well, that's not what I wanted. Where am I? Oh, oh, but wait. I do need to show that. Well, let, let's show this. This this was my buddy, uh, Derek Hudnall. He's from Louisiana, lives about 20 minutes from me. And, and he put on a really good show. Um, he, he finished in the top 10. But I, I had the opportunity to follow uh, Derek two days and, and get him catching some five-pound bass. It was a lot of fun. This bass just went crazy and, and jumped out the water for me. Uh, you know, and Derek just dragged it right on the uh, my side of the boat to uh, to land. But but man, look, every morning, but the last morning, uh, so three of the four days, we had spectacular sunrises, and this was the first day. Uh, and and I, I, I was shooting this, and, and uh, Shane Durance, who is a, a photographer on the Bassmaster team, you know, standing right next to me, we were launching at the same uh, place, and, and he said, all we're missing is a boat to run through. And, uh, and about that time, I, I, I heard the, the anglers coming, and this boat runs right through that reflection uh, of the sun on the on the water. So I, I snapped it, you know, got the shot, and I was I was so stoked when I uh, when I uh, processed it because you can actually see. And I'm gonna I'm gonna enlarge this and see if y'all can see it. You can actually see the uh, name of the sponsor on the side of his boat, which says Gill. Um, and and so uh, it was really cool to see that. I really didn't wasn't certain it was a it was one of the competitors when when he ran across the lake, um, but it's it's really a, a a neat image. And so, but but every sunrise except for day four was just really colorful. The sun came up through sort of hazy clouds. Uh, I was it was beautiful, man, and I, I've shared uh, I've shared a number of those sunrises. So uh, so we finished up there at Santee, and I headed over here uh, to the mountains. And um, the closer I got, my you know James Overstreet and I were talking by phone. We talked several times, and the closer we got the more color we saw. We, we were pretty excited. And, and so I got to Cherokee and I saw some mountains that were just glowing with color uh, outside of Cherokee. So I was really, really looking forward to getting into the National Park. I'm in the Great uh, Smoky Mountains National Park. And, uh, and, and look at this. Let me enlarge that so y'all can get a good view of it. Um, it's right here. And... Uh, I mean, look at that. I mean, can you ask for anything better than that? Uh, it is just beautiful. Uh, we're not quite at peak. The, the colors uh, still need a little time. Uh, there's some reds. You can see reds off uh, in, in the, the mountains. I haven't hit any place where I could really shoot it uh, effectively. But just beautiful. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited. I've got a full day today that I can... Uh, uh, drive around, see what's up. I'm going to go down. I, I really don't think this sunrise is going to happen with the uh, with the clouds, but uh, I might give it a little time to to see if they clear off. But uh, but I'm going to go down, probably work in some creeks, maybe go straight on over to Cage Cove, try to beat the crowds uh, in in there and and see what it has to offer. Uh, but man, I ended the day with just a gorgeous, gorgeous sunrise, uh, sunset. I say that um, and look at that um, there were no clouds so I wasn't really sure that that there would be much to it I shot one uh, image that I'm gonna turn black and white of those uh, of those layers of the mountains it's, 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 it's a pretty cool image but man look at this <clears throat> there's hazy I, I, it's not really the clouds it's just haze in the uh, in the distance and that and it just made that uh sun turn into that you know perfect ground ball and and so uh so i just followed it down it's going behind a far far peak or mountain back, uh, range back there and uh and you've got that that classic uh hazy smoky mountain look with those 
textured layers and, and that front I love that um, you know set up so that I had that that uh, foreground where you can really see the tree so if you look at this image you can see that those are trees on top of that that uh, front ridge and it gives you a lot of texture it gives you a good foreground hey it's raining now and um, um, you know it's just a really sort of a classic Smoky Mountains image and so it's been a great uh, great uh, week I'm going to uh, head out if this rain continues I'm gonna head out earlier and try to get down the mountain and see what I find try to get out of the rain I can't check the radar I don't have a have a strong enough signal up here um, but um, but I'm, I'm planning on doing a lot of shooting today it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up this video um, uh, later and and show y'all some more of my uh, you know autumn trip to the Smoky Mountains before I head to Dayton uh, Tennessee for my next Bassmaster Elite Series tournament on uh, Lake Chickamauga all right guys I'll be back okay guys the trip to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is a wrap uh, man what a what a great uh, couple of days uh, just just uh, camping in the tiny camper uh, pulling off wherever I, I want to and uh, uh, and, and shooting just amazing uh, fall scenery. As you can tell, I'm no longer in the mountains. I'm actually at uh, the Sleep Inn in Dayton, Tennessee, uh, prepping for uh, the Bassmaster Elite Series on Chickamauga that starts tomorrow. And um, I'm just sitting out by the camper. I've got my, uh, you know, my community coffee, uh, and I've eaten breakfast already I'm, I'm working on a little camera gear just getting it ready for the uh for the uh, tournament that starts tomorrow and goes through monday and so um you know i've got a busy weekend coming but i just wanted to to wrap up and and tell y'all you know about the last day at the park man the fall colors were incredible um and and i i really uh, I've never seen that much color, and and uh, you know, being from South Louisiana, we don't we don't uh, get that much. And I and I honestly, I haven't been able to travel uh, to the mountains and and hit the timing just right in the fall uh, before. And so it was really not at peak. I mean, the the reds were just starting to show up, and so I might end up going back there in a, in I don't know a, a couple of weeks, a week and a half, something like that. Um, and and check it again uh and and maybe shoot some more but man what a what a great uh <laughs> great trip it was with with so much color so real quickly though people ask me you know how can you you use a little camper like this you know it's six by eight that's it the inside is just just about big enough though the sleeping compartment is just about big enough for a queen size bed there's there's no power except for a generator there's nothing to run unless you're using the the ac system them, which I didn't even bring with me um, you know anyway and uh, you know um, there's no bathroom there's no run of water uh, you know it's just a place to sleep uh, and, and, and store your some equipment in the back you know I got a little stove and a, and a grill a little travel grill and all that stuff well man look it, it's it's just perfect for, for what I do I mean it I can I can take it wherever I I count two nights for free by just pulling into a pull-off and climbing into the into the camper and so I, I stayed for free uh, and so the trip cost me nothing but gas money and a little bit of food I don't even eat that much you know I eat sandwiches for lunch eat eggs in, in the morning and and grill or, or you know cook something uh, uh, you know, hamburger patty or something in the evening, I, you know, and, and so it's, it's a really basic, easy, inexpensive way to travel. And so, look, let me, let me show y'all uh, one of the advantages. And so my buddy James Overstreet, uh, who's on this Bassmaster team, I met him uh, and, and uh, Dave Mercer and Stevie Wright uh, in the park. Um, we're all on the same team. And, and, uh, Overstreet took this picture of me while I was waiting on a sunset. You can see that beautiful fall color in the back. But 
if you if you look at this image what it what it shows you is just how easy it is to to travel with this camper it's very small and compact it just sits right behind the the truck you know with the tongue it's probably 11 12 feet long and so you know turning corners is no big deal it's really light it it, it doesn't take a lot to haul it and uh and if i wanted to i could watch that sunrise and just crawl right in the camper and, and go to sleep and, and uh, be ready for and rested for the next day. Um, you know, and so it's it's just perfect for what I do. Um, I, I don't, I'm not a, a camp life kind of guy, I guess. You know, I don't go to a campground and just sit around the camp uh, campsite. I'm, I'm going and I'm hiking and I'm taking pictures and, and you know, it's a, it was a little tight in the park at some of the uh, pull-offs that weren't really, that were made for cars, but I would just go to the next one and walk back and take pictures. I mean, it's just sort of part of the game. And, and so it's just perfect for me. But guys, I want to show y'all some of the pictures that I took. Uh, I, I'm still going through them. And so I'm going to put a link to, to, to the uh, Smoky Mountains collection on my gallery that will be, um, will be building up at, over the next few days as I go through these images. Man, it was just beautiful. Um, you know, this this is an image just down a creek. You can see that fall color in, in the tops of the trees. Uh, it's, it's sort of a canopy that just leads your eyes to the col color back there. But it's got, these creeks were filled with, uh, with those, those golden fallen leaves, just beautiful. And so um, it, it didn't take long to start uh, capturing some really beautiful images in those creeks. Um, you know, it, it, it's just, I love a creek. I love that running water, those, those riffles. I didn't, didn't shoot any big waterfalls this time, believe it or not. I'm a waterfall fanatic, but, uh, but it was all about that fall color uh, this trip. Uh, and, and so, you know, we saw this, you know, over and over. This was my last sunrise there. And it was really interesting, you know, we, we, there, there were photographers, this was at Newfound Gap, and there were photographers lined up waiting on the sunrise. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. The sun started coming up, there's no color to the sky. And, and I'm, I'm like, man, this is a bust. And I look over just sort of 90 degrees to, the, to, to where the sun was gonna come up. And I see this hillside as the, as, as the, the sun popped over the, uh, the mountains, just being flooded with that beautiful, beautiful light and those, the, <laughs> those yellow trees just exploded. And at the same time, the light from the from the sun was just kissing the top of those far ridges it was really pretty with that um that lo those low clouds fog in the valley back behind that that front ridge and it's just a, a beautiful i think a, a an image that captures the essence of the smoky mountains during the during the fall it just looks like those those colors are just a wave just just going over that mountain and so uh so it was a great great way to end it um the last photo i took this is a creek i've shot probably three or four times over the last few years it's it's a spot that it's it's on i'm gonna say it wrong Oaken, the lofty i think uh <laughs> river that goes through Cher the river that goes through cherokee um you know comes out of the national park and this is in the national park it's a big pull off um and it's one that that i almost have to stop at because i know it's it's so beautiful and and i was coming back through and i saw james overstreet dave mercer and steve wright uh there the lad this was as i was leaving the park and I pulled off and we had shot here the day before and I laughingly said, haven't y'all shot this enough? And I looked down off the little overlook and, and I saw this scene and I said, okay, I, 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 I'm gonna get my stuff. <laughs> and again, you, you see some fall color coming in. Um, it's really not peaking, so all of those trees haven't turned, but you see that, that fall color. A lot of the trees that were, that were colored were real tall and they were raining when the wind would blow man they were raining those leaves and so you see all of those leaves on that on those those green mossy 
uh, boulders with the with the rapids coming down. Oh man, it was it was gorgeous, and so it was it was just a a wonderful way to relax. You know, it's, I am at the halfway point of my, uh, my my road trip. I've got 23 and a half days left, um, and, and 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 I've been tired. Uh, this was a great way to relax. You know, midday I, I would slow down and just, you know, light wasn't very good. And I actually took a nap in, in, in my chair. I, I just set up next to that last creek I showed you and, and took a nap. And, uh, and yesterday just sort of, sort of hung around in the midday and didn't do a whole lot. And, and I really feel rested. I'm ready to go for the tournament. Um, but, uh, but man, I wish I could spend more time in the mountains. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. I'm really gonna try to go back, I think, in, in about a week and a half and see if those reds have popped out. It got down to about 43 degrees the last night when I was at 52, 53,000 feet, I think, uh, the thousand feet, 5,300 feet. Um, and you know, even cool down in, in Cherokee. And, and you could already see more reds. Uh, and so I think there's gonna be a little warm up over the next week that might maybe slow things down a little bit. We get another cool front come through. Uh, I think when I get a chance to go back in about a week and a half, uh, it, it, may be, it may be spectacular with a lot more reds in it. And so I may, I may reshoot some of that stuff and, and we'll, we'll see. But definitely check the, um, the description for the link to my Smoky Mountains uh, collection on my uh, online gallery. You can find all the photos there. Prints are available, um, you know, and all you do is click on the, each photo and it'll give you all the print options. Um, it's, it's been a great trip. I'm, I'm going to finish cleaning my, my, uh, my camera gear and getting it ready for, uh, for, for the tournament. I'm, I'm going to shoot a little gallery this afternoon, but, um, you know, I'll be in tournament mode for four days. Then I'll have to be down in Alabama for another tournament and I've got two days to get there. So I might do a little cherry picking on the way, but, uh, um, but it's going to be after that tournament that I'll have another good uh, stretch of shooting. All right, guys. Look, I really appreciate y'all tagging along with me. Um, you know, please follow my page. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm here on Instagram. I'm here on uh, on Facebook. I'm here on YouTube. And just follow. You know, whatever uh, platform you're comfortable with, and uh, and keep up with all my adventures. Talk to y'all later.